Welcome to the latest installment of a series that we like to call That Leslie Sound. In this series, we're going to attempt to cover every Leslie pedal on the used in the new market. If you want to know more about what pedals are in the series, click on the card above to watch the series opener. And if you want to know what that Leslie sound is, click on the card that will take you to a YouTube playlist that you'll hear many famous songs that use that Leslie sound. Welcome to the series. <laughs> Today, that Leslie sound is brought to you by the Neo Instruments Mini Vent 2, and the beard's going to let you know what it sounds like. That was the Mini Vent 2 by Neo Instruments, uh, brought to you in stereo, so if you weren't listening with your <laughs> headphones... We affectionately call them headbuds, because we don't know if you're wearing earphones or earbuds, we want to do both. <laughs> headbuds. Uh, Either that or my Grateful Dead fan made up his own term, I'm not sure which. <laughs> it's a so, whole other story. If you weren't listening to him with your headphones on, <laughs> or through speakers, you might want to do that. Uh, great pedal. What we typically do or have been doing in this series is going through the features and then you play it again mm -hmm. in mono with our little Leslie riff that we've been using. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can kind of go back through the other videos and compare. So let's do the features quick. You have a bypass switch that turns the pedal on and off. You have a fast slow switch that changes between the fast and slow setting. Or you can push both at the same time and it will break. On the back of the pedal, you have an A-B switch that changes between, between two pre programmable presets. I got that out. Power adapter. Input, stereo outs. Done. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's more to it than that, but this is a good point for you to do the Leslie Riff. So yeah. play it fast, we'll switch it to slow. After he plays it slow, we'll switch it back to fast and then hit the brakes so you can hear what that sounds like. Um, Super Hampton into a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe uh, without with the pedal bypass, neck pickup, and here's what it sounds like. there at the end you can see the yellow LED light fading out as the drum finally came to a right. stop. Yellow is slow. The high faded out pretty quick. Stopped pretty okay. quick. The lower one took a little longer. All right. So we've had a couple comments that have swirled around. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did? Yeah, 
swirled around this pedal, one of the comments is it's not tweakable enough. And so I think we're going to kind of lay that to rest a little bit Mm -hmm. in this episode. Mm -hmm. Um, I know personally, before we got our hands on this and started looking at it, I was looking at this pedal and was always a bit confused because it said it could be tweaked. Right, but there's, like, there's no mm, little no knobs things that you turn. Pat will not open the back up and nope. change, nope. so he's not getting the screwdriver out. <laughs> there's one thing on the inside. If you are running hot pickups, this comes factory preset for more like a lower output pickup, maybe like a PF, PAF type humbucker or a single coil or something like that. If you had really hot pickups, you would want to open the back, move a little jumper, and that will accommodate those pickups a little bit better. We're going to focus on things that have to do with the other, that you don't have to get on the inside. Right. So there is five parameters that we can program. We can program the speed, the balance between the highs and the lows, the drive, the Distance mic placement, the virtual mic placement, how close it is or far away it is from the speaker. And then the mode, which is more of like a keyboard verse guitar mode. Um, we are going to stay on the A setting. So I'll tell you the factory presets for A. B comes factory preset, more set up for keyboard, I believe. So, but you could change that. You could go and change that. And then you could have like maybe a faster with more drive and B and a cleaner, slower. Leslie and A, and then if you just want to reach down and hit that button, you could do that. All right, so how hard is this? Hard enough that he's doing it, not me. All right, there you go. <laughs> For the speed setting, the factory preset is a minus two. Zero is the standard 122 speed. So if you measured how fast the motor spins the 122 for both the highs and the lows, that would be zero. You can go away from that three down or one above. It comes preset two below a 122. I do a good job there. You are. There's one over there if we want to measure. <laughs> if we want to measure. <laughs> so we are going to go from the the what it's preset at now to the standard 122. So we should be bumping the speed up a little bit to do this. It's really easy, you know, and that's the thing. Yeah, it's easier to turn a knob, but once you kind of get this where you want it, I don't think you would be changing it. Right. So it's not that big of a deal. All we have to do is pull the plug. You know, they say set something the way you want and rip the knobs off. We don't have to rip the knobs off because there are none. So just set it the way you want it and just leave it alone. (laughs) Don't have to tape it. Don't have to put little marks. Don't have to get... Nope. Get your roadie to... White out pens or whatever it is that you do. You don't have to do that anymore. No, you do not. All you have to do, hold the fast load button down, plug it back in, hold it for three seconds. One Mississippi. The first light here, the yellow light is blinking one time. That tells us we're on speed. Right. Parameter one, which is speed. This is blinking twice and pausing. And if I look at our little cheat sheet here, blinking twice and pausing is the minus two. Always blinking is the standard 122. So if I hit it one more time, it's blinking three times and pausing. One more time, always blinking standard 122. Hold both buttons down. And we're we're off. So we'll let Pat play that for you. In case you're lost, unplug it, hold both buttons down, plug it back in, wait a couple seconds, and you are back in the factory preset. No, do it. It's a little slower than the standard 122. Thoughts? Any thoughts? I like it. I mean, I like that you can change it. I mean, I do like it right out of the box. We didn't say that necessarily up front, but you literally could take it out of the box 
I personally liked all of the factory settings as you went through the fast and the slow. Um, just the way the, the, the mic placement was, which we're going to get into in a minute. All of that, I, I really liked it. So, But I do like the fact that you can change it slightly. Mm -hmm. um, and I probably never would have if we didn't do this video, but now that we've done the video... You might find some tweaks that you I want. might find some tweaks I want to do. So the next one is balance. That's that... Uh, what we're going to do on this one is you can go from balance zero, which is the factory setting, so like kind of right in the middle. We're going to lean all the way to the dark side, <laughs> right? We're going to go all the way to the horn or the rotor, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go all the way to the horn. Uh, so minus two, which we think is the low end, right? Um, is blinking one time and then a pause on the second parameter. So real quick, unplug, hold, plug it in. Now if you have one of these pedals and you're playing live, Jason will come and be your roadie and just run out and switch this under the cover of darkness. Blinking once, blinking twice, second parameter, balance. And we want this to be blinking once. Blinking once, pause. Blinking once, pause. Now we're all the way over on the rotor, I believe. Hold both. <laughs> Plug. That button, blinking twice, second parameter. If it's constantly on, now we're all the way to the high end of it. Hold both. And just for fun, unplug it, hold both, plug it back in. factory preset. <laughs> So a little different than some of the other pedals yeah. we looked at in that the extremes are still usable. Yeah, if you went all the way to the drum and some, it was totally like this and really muffled. And the other one's like the AM radio effect. Like there was no bottom end at all. This one, usable, like you said, in both directions. Right. Sort of repeating what you said, but like, that's what I do. So preset one, perimeter one, parameter two is balance. Parameter three is drive. Drive comes off and there's five levels of drive and we're not gonna fool around. Right. We're going to level five, baby. So we're gonna nickel this back. Two. <laughs> three. Blinking all the time is four. We're at drive level five. So we went totally off, all the way on. Hold them both down.
Andrew Gilmore were here, he'd be like, I like it. Yeah. It's really usable. Yeah. It doesn't get over the top. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted it to be even more drive, I'd have a drive pedal in front of it. Right. Um, but it sounds really nice. I mean, I think it's really like kind of focused on making that Leslie sound really well. It is. I always like that level of drive. I always refer to it like a searing organ. Like it sounds really good. Just a little bit of an edge. It kind of rounds it out. Gives it a little emphasis. All right. So what we're going to do now. So first parameter, second parameter, third parameter, which is drive. I'm going to hit this once. So we're back to the drive being off. And we know that because this is blinking once and pausing. Then I'm going to go to the fourth parameter. So this should be blinking all the time. And the fourth parameter is distance. And so this comes factory preset at the longest distance. So it's like putting a mic way out in front of the Leslie. So it's not going to get as much of the Doppler effect. The wave is spreading out before there's no gap in between the wave. We're going to move it all the way up to the shortest distance. And we're doing that because it's simply to reprogram it for every single one and show yeah. you every single one would just take too long. Right. Um, but we figure if we give you extremes that you can kind of, oh, well, there's somewhere in between that is what I would like. And uh, so to go to the shortest distance, we just need that to be blinking one time. So one more should loop me back to the beginning, which you get a pause, blink, pause, blink, pause. And so this would be dry. This would be the shortest distance of the mic. Um, Factory preset that. <laughs> it's hard to push this down. All right, you want to just hit that real quick so they can hear. And I actually think, I typically like the mic a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I like the extreme far away better than the extreme close. But I, I wonder if there's something in between there that, like if I was tweaking this to put on my yeah. board, or when I tweak this to put on my board, um, I maybe would go like the three. Yeah, I, I, I well, again, we haven't gone there, right? But I like the distance because I will keep looking over there because the amps are eight feet from us maybe. About a normal playing distance. And that's what my ear is so trained after decades of playing the guitar. That's what I'm comfortable hearing. So I kind of like that the fact that the mic is sort of picking that up. But there's times when we record in the room, we go back and listen to the recording. I'm like, oh, okay, that sounded good. But I think I like the distance far mm -hmm. because it's what my ears are most accustomed to hearing. Because I'm not big doing recording. I'm not listening in ears. I'm space in a room. But anyway, yeah. that's, that's me. So, we did the speed, we did the balance, we did the drive, we did the distance. We're not going to do the mode because we're not playing keyboards. Um, did I mention the other thing with the switches? I don't, I don't know, know that you did. I don't think uh, I did. No. So, there is switch modes. If you go back and you look at, we did an episode on the micro vents that was focused simply on how to set them up, how to do this programming. And you can program the switches. So, for instance... Right now, it's bypass, both stop, and then slow fast. We could flip-flop that if we want. But the one thing that, reason I mentioned this, that I think mm -hmm. this is really cool the way, and there's like five different combinations that you can do. Right. Right. One of those combinations is fast, slow, stop, if you push both, and fast, slow. 
so there's no bypass. And so if you were using like a loop switcher, like one of the boss loop switchers or the American loopers, American loopers, or, you know, any of those loop switchers, you could put this in a loop. And when you kick the loop on, it would always be on because it never turns off. And then whatever button could be your, Mm -hmm. your faster slot. So, and I think that covers the mini vent too. Uh, fantastic pedal. Yep. I've mentioned before, I understand why Neo was one of the first people you reached out to. Guido was fantastic in getting us this pedal and other pedals. Right. What a, what an awesome dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. We're, we really mm-hmm. appreciate this company. Um, and this is kind of their thing. They do have a drive pedal now, but this has kind of been their thing for a long time. They started off with the ventilator, which was a huge <laughs> simulator. The mini vent, now the micro vents. Yep. So... With that, we have new content every Saturday, every Wednesday at noon. Uh, it's not always Leslie Pedals, but you might see a couple of those in the right. next couple of weeks. Uh, I think we have four or five waiting to be released mm-hmm. and trying to get through the last five or six here. A couple bonus videos in that series and then maybe even wrapping that series up. Maybe. And when you when you uh, put something out, we do the premiere version of it. or the Right. Yeah. yeah. I said that right. Mm-hmm. Look at me. Look at me. Not look at me. Not the pitch man. <laughs> I'm the hashtag guy. Well yeah. well, yeah, we try to premiere them with you, and if you watch along, we can answer questions, and make comments, and right. ask how your day is going. Kind of cool to watch the videos with you. Yeah, so that's why we're doing it. Uh, also, we have in, what stuff we're putting out on Instagram and Facebook, kind of kind of premiering or previewing some of the stuff that's coming up. Okay. Uh, so we want to find out maybe what the next series is going to be that we're going to dive into and spend way too much time on. <laughs> this one goes like this. The next one kind of goes like this. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Just that. <laughs> uh, please check those out too. PJ and the Beard on Facebook or Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I think with that, please, oh, what? Subscribe. Yes. Hit like. Right. Hit notifications so you can see the next pedals in the series. And with that. I'm PJ on behalf of the Beard reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. <laughs>